We give God praise. We give God glory. We give God honor. What a mighty God we serve. We stand on God's promises. And the Bible tells us to fight the good fight of faith. All right? Uh, we trust that God is doing a wonderful thing, a great thing. And he hasn't just started. He has always done it. He's always given us peace and victory. We have not accepted it. Uh, we have not received it. The Bible says as many as received it, to them gave he power to become sons and daughters of the Most High God. And when we receive what God has given us, praise be to God, through his son, Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary and shed his precious blood, he who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We pray that you would hit the subscribe button on YouTube. We pray that we, you would go uh, over to YouTube channel under Shane Gaskins and hit the subscribe button. We'd appreciate that. Uh, give you a little time to call up some folks, bring them on the air, hit that subscribe button. Uh, but we want you to understand who we are in Christ and what we possess in this global world where we are now uh, receiving information at a phenomenal rate, uh, more so than we've ever had with technology, with social media. Uh, we're hearing falsehoods in a record number like never before, praise be to God. But God is the same. Hallelujah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. It doesn't matter how challenging things appear to be. God has given us the victory. He's Jehovah Nissi. Hallelujah. We hold the banner of victory high in, in the midst of confusion, in the midst of war. Father God, we just thank you that as we go forth in your word, we pray that the spirit of God would touch the hearts of the believer. And those who don't know Jesus and have not accepted him as their personal savior, we pray that they would give their life over to Jesus, not over to religion, not over to denominations, but over a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. We are so thrilled to talk about Jesus. Everybody appears to be talking about everything else but the good news. We are hearing uh, tragedy after tragedy. We're hearing concerns after concerns, and rightfully so. Uh, praise be to God. Uh, the world is in a state of confusion, but God is not. The world is struggling with hate and fear and whoremonging and just every evil, every name that is named, every evil name that you can think of has now come into fruition. Uh, without the technology and without the global connection, we just wasn't privy to it. But remember, you know, the Bible says that uh, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. Why is that so? Because Adam and Eve, praise be to God, ate the forbidden fruit and God said in the minute, in the day, in the time, in the hour, whatever you want to put on it, you eat of it, you shall surely die. And man died spiritually. They were separated from God. But God had a remedy. Hallelujah. But sin had plunged this way, its way into this world, into this nation, into this globe. Not just the United States, but all over the world. We see things going on in Afghanistan. We see things going on in Newark, New Jersey. We see things going on in in, all, in every city, in every state, I, I named Newark because that's where I'm from, but it's everywhere. It's in Wilmington, praise be to God. It's in the suburbs. If you don't think so, praise be to God. Take a look into the houses of some of the people who even have money. It's quiet, it's kept, but sin is sin. And nothing as believers should separate us from the love of God. And if we have the love of God in us, then we're able to love our brother, love our sister, black and white. 
Praise be to God. And so we trust that whatever the nationality is, whatever God so loved the world. Hallelujah. So we pray that God would just continue. Hallelujah. To move in the hearts and the lives of people. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We, 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 we've been talking about God is light. Uh, we, we found in John's 1 and 1, and you need to go back and read it, and also in John 2 and 29, we said that God is love. Praise be to God. And we read that over in uh, chapter 3 of John, John 3 and 1, and also John 4 and 21. And then God is life. 5, chapter 5, hallelujah, verse 1 through the 21st verse. So it's uh, God is light. 1 through 29, praise be to God. God is love, hallelujah, chapter 3. 1 through 4, hallelujah. And 5, God is life, chapter 5 of the book of John, 1 through 21. So if you would just take the time and read that and allow God to speak to your heart. John wrote about uh, the most vital aspect of faith. So that his readers would know Christian truth from error. And that's a very important part of your faith is to know truth from error. He emphasized the basics of faith so that we can be confident in our faith. If there's ever been a time to be confident in your faith, it is now. Just say now. Praise be God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. When is faith? Now. Challenges are everywhere. All kinds of things. Hallelujah. Coming and going and changing. But we have faith now. Hallelujah. In the storm. In the, in the wars. In the racism. In the hatred. In the prejudice. In the lack. In the new movement, hallelujah, homosexuality. No, Bishop, don't talk about that. There's so many people that I love and I know, praise be to God, but we need to put that on the table too. Hallelujah. God is against it. Praise be to God. Not against the person. It's like he's against lying. He's, it's like he's against cheating. It's, it's like he's, he's against hatred and murder. Praise be to God. And so somebody has to declare that God is holy. God is pure. God is just. So we can say what God says in the mighty name of Jesus as we navigate in the light, navigate in the love, and navigate in God's light. God is light. Praise be to God. And in him, hallelujah, in our cold world, God brings the warmth of love. In our dying world, God brings life. Hallelujah. And when we lack confidence, these truths, they bring certainty. So what we have to do is go to the Word. We need to dig in the Word of God. We need to trust that God is speaking to our lives and speaking to our lives. Listen to Ephesians 2 and 2. It says, when in times past we walked according to the course of this world. Hmm? In times past. What do you mean in times past? When we didn't know who Jesus was, we wouldn't have a relationship. But then we found out, hallelujah, that God sent his only begotten son. That as many as received him, he gave them power to become sons of the most high God. So if we begin to understand it's in him we live and it's in him we move and it's in him we have our being. And we no longer follow the course of this world. Although we're in this world, we're not of this world. So this world has their truth. This world has their way of thinking and they have their word of believing. Now, you can't talk about homosexuality. You lose your job. You get kicked out of the church. Praise be to God. You are blackballed from certain entities, be it sports, be it entertainment. Praise be we, The enemies think that they turned this thing around. God is not surprised. God is not surprised. That's why he puts in Ephesians 2, 
We're in in times past, you walked according to the course of this world. This world has its own course. This world has made its own decisions about what they want to believe, what they don't want to believe, who's right and who's wrong. Praise be to be the, 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 the God of all kings and kingdoms. But God is in control. He's given us the spirit of Christ to live in us. He's given us the Holy Spirit operating in us now. So we do not operate according to the prince of the power of the air. He brings in truth that's not true. And we shouldn't even call it the truth because when you start talking about homosexuality, when you talk about people living inside a sin, when you talk about murder and death and confusion, and when you start talking about racism and different color folks, we start mixing all that together. Look how they put uh, homosexuality with black power movement. You know, black lives matter and all those kind of things. All lives matter. Don't say black lives matter. It says all lives matter. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful that every single soul matters? Not because you're black, not because you're white, because you love the Lord. And he loved us like this while we were yet sinners. Praise be to God. People want to beat me up for saying that. People want to dislike me for saying that. They've now made an imprint where they uh, match up all the nuances of sin and they try to put it all in one package. So with, with, with movements, they, they try to connect these movements, praise be to God, because they pull from each other to strengthen their cause. But listen, Ephesians says where in times past we walked in times past according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air. So who's behind this? Satan, darkness, deception. Satan is the liar. He's the father of all lies. Now, praise be to God, people are walking, praise be to God, in fear because if they say certain things, they're going to be put out of the church. They're going to be put out of the club. They're going to be put out of the school. They're going to lose their job. God promised to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And one of the first riches that God could ever give you is his word. We think about riches, we think about food, clothes, shelter, that, that's secondary. Praise be to God. God is in control of all that. But he wants you to make a decision. He's not going to force you. He's not going to push you. Yes, there's going to be some tribulations. Yes, there's going to be some hard times. When you stand up, hallelujah, begin to declare what the word of God says, praise be to God, then you begin to understand, hallelujah, not only the forces of evil, but more importantly, you begin to understand who's in control. Praise be to God. He said, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Verse 3 says, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Hallelujah. But look at, look at, look at, look at verse 4 of Ephesians chapter 4. But God, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Somebody say, but God. Hallelujah. But God, he's keeping you down. Don't operate in fear when it comes down to talking about truth. Hallelujah. Don't, don't get into battles just to get into battles. But now you have to show the light and darkness. You have to show. We just said, praise be to God, God is light. We just said that God is love. We just said that God is light. God is love doesn't mean that God accepts anybody and anyone or anything they say, or anything they do. My father loved us, hallelujah, but he disciplined us. When we went against the rules, when we broke, hallelujah, curfew, when we did things that was contrary to his uh, leading, hallelujah, as dad, as father in our house, praise be to God, we had to pay the consequences. And he said, I got to do this because I love you. And I'm like, no, but you don't have to do it this way. <laughs> I told you about hanging with that boy. I told you about doing this and that. And there was other people who, 
who fought me in, in, in terms of verbalizing and saying, wow, you got to stay in the house. You can't go to the movies. You can't do this. You can't do this. All the things that everybody seemed like was freely doing. And I found that as I got older, everybody wasn't doing it. A lot of other people was just like me. Praise be to God whose parents say you had to be in at a certain time. You couldn't go to that party. You couldn't hang out. You couldn't do this. Why did he do it? He did it because he loved us. He didn't want us to go to jail. He wanted us to be the light. When people came in our neighborhood, they was like, how you doing, Mr. Gaston? They respected Dewey Street. They respected our household. And nobody they just didn't come and hang around. They couldn't hang in the front of the house. They couldn't hang on the stairs. They knew R.J. Gaskins wasn't going to have it. But it started with us as his children. God is life. So it says, but God, who is rich in mercy... For his great love, wherein he loved us, even when we were dead in our sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace, you are saved and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Not in Buddha, not in Arab Christian, not, not in Sun Young Moon, not in Father Divine, not in Daddy Grace, not in Allah, but Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be to God. I, I, and listen what it says. It says, and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If I had written, wrote this, I would probably wouldn't have said that. But God wrote it. And the Holy Spirit led us this way. And the Holy Spirit leads us and guides us through this. So if you have a problem, have it with Christ. And if you have a problem with Christ, you have a problem with me. Praise be to God because I'm his son. Hallelujah. It says this, verse 7 of Ephesians 2, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness, watch this, towards us, through Christ Jesus. Let me go ahead and read verse 8. says, For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourself. I love this. It is a gift of God. That's why you praise him. What a wonderful gift. Saved by grace. Not because we were so good. Not because we did the right thing. Saved by his mercy, his grace, grace, mercy, and peace. Be unto you, praise be to God, decree it today, declare it today in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, not of works, least any man should boast. We can't boast about this, praise be to God. It was God who brought in the light. It was God who brought in the love. It is God who brought in the life. Light came and darkness comprehended it not, but as many as received him to them gave me power, praise be to God, to become sons of God. Verse 10 says, for we are his workmanship recreated or, or created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should do what? Walk in them. We're not, we're not, we're not here in the world tell us how we should carry ourselves. Because we're black, we're supposed to act a certain way as a black person. Because we're white, we're supposed to take on a persona of, 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 of the white folk. Uh, or because we are male, we are supposed to accept, you know, anything that go down. God made male and female, made he them. He made us black. He made us white. He made us brown. All the colors that he used, it was for us to understand God does not have a problem, praise be to God, with our nationalities. But he did put some things in place as to who we are. We, we're not confused as to who we are. Hallelujah. We, we don't have an identity crisis because the first thing we know is who we are in Christ Jesus. And when you know who you, who you are in Christ Jesus, you know what you possess. I'm looking at all these famous people, famous people, stars, who, who uh, athletes who have now ex accepted, hallelujah, anything. They accept the new lifestyle. And they brag about it. Everything on TV, everything on the news is about gay rights. Praise be to God. And then they mix in the little uh, Black Lives Matter and Black folk. And we sit here like, yes. They hijack a movement 
And we also hijack stuff too. Praise be to God because we begin to declare who we are and we really don't know who we are unless we really know who Christ Jesus is. Praise be to God as anybody in the house. It says, verse 10 says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh, made by hand. But now, listen at this, hallelujah, that all that time you were without Christ. Now, some, some people are, 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 are commingling the things of Christ. I've heard some churches now, you know, mix that in. And I, I hear some preachers now, and I hear some some songsters, uh, I hear folks now mixing uh, the pot with, you know, not not with uh, human, human, human black and white uh, people with loving, but with our gender. We threw the genderness in the pot. When God, God is not confused. He already told us what we, what we are. He says he made male and female in his image and in his likeness. Who are called uncircumcised by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hand. Verse 12, that at that time you were without Christ, being alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants and promise, having no hope without God. Watch this. In this world, it's so bad not to have God in this world. And watch it. Satan is a counterfeiter. And when you have God in this world, when you have understanding of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you begin to identify with light, and you know when darkness is there. Hallelujah, the light came and darkness comprehended it not. When you have God, you understand that God be loved, the Zoe life of God. When, when you have God, hallelujah, God, you understand God is your life. God is your life. It's in him you move and live and have your being. It says, but now in Christ, ye who sometime were far off are made now. How? By the blood of Christ. By the blood of Christ. By the blood of Christ. Praise be to God. By the blood of Christ. I, I'm, I'm going to stop right there because you, you can't. It's, it's just a lot of great information. But this means nothing if you don't receive it. Amen? Hallelujah. It says, it says in, in, in John 5, let me read this to you before we close. John 5, starting at the 39th verse. John 5 and 39. Well, look what it says. Ye diligently study the scriptures because you think that by them you possess eternal life. Hmm? Then he said, Jesus said, these are the scriptures that testify about me. As a matter of fact, let me look at verse 36 so you get a clear picture. you got to read the whole thing. The Bible says, study to show that self approved A workman need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word truth. So you need to go back and study and read. Let's look at this. This is a testimony about Jesus. Let's read this because this will lead into receiving all of this stuff all of this good information, all this truth that I just gave you, all right? It says, test, this testimony about Jesus, it says, if I testify about myself, listen at this, my testimony is not valid. There is another who testified in my favor, and I know that this testimony about me is valid. Verse 33 of John 5. It says, you have sent to John... And he has testified to the truth. Verse 34 says, Not that I accept human testimony, but I mentioned it that you may be saved. Look at verse 35. John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. Verse 36 says, I have testified weightier than that of John, for the very work that the Father has given me to finish and which I am doing testifies that the faith, that, that the 
Father has sent me. Hallelujah. Verse 37. And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one who sent me. You diligently study the scriptures because you think that, hallelujah, by them you possess eternal life. These are the scriptures huh, that testify about me. Hallelujah. We're talking about testimony about Jesus. Hallelujah. That testify about me. These are the scriptures that testify about me. Hallelujah. Mm, get that in your heart. You diligently study the scriptures because you think that in, by them you possess eternal life. These are the scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. You're going everywhere else looking in all the wrong places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, I do not accept praise from men, but I know you. I do not accept praise from men, but I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your heart. Hmm. I have come in my father's name and you did not accept me. Huh? I have come into who has not accepted Christ. You, you have an opportunity to accept him today before we leave. Hallelujah. Father, he says, I have come in my father's name and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. If someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. If someone else come in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe if you accept praise from one another, yet make no effort to obtain the praise that comes from the only God? Let me read that again. It says, how can you believe if you accept praise from one another, yet make no effort to obtain the praise that comes from the only God. Verse 45, but do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses. You, you, you might say, ah, Moses. Uh, listen, listen to this very carefully. Your accuser is Moses on whom your hopes are set. It says, if you believe Moses, you would believe me. Now, he's not just talking to the people in the past because we're still reading. Watch what he says about reading. For he, Moses, wrote about me. We still believe Moses because Moses wrote about him too. Moses wrote about Jesus. So we're reading. He's speaking to us as well as those people in generations past and times past. I, I don't want you to think he's just talking to a foreign uh, people. He's talking to us right now. He says, verse 45, it says, but do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me. Then he says, for he, meaning Moses, wrote about me. And it says, but since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? If you're going to believe, if you're not going to believe what Moses wrote, how are you going to believe what Jesus says? He wrote it. We even can go and read it at this particular time. But as we close, I only have a few more minutes. I had a timer, but I don't know what happened to it. Uh, the, 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 the scriptures that I want to leave you with is how important it is to search the scriptures daily. Praise be to God. Acts 17 and 11 says, and I have a minute left, says, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. You got to go search it daily to see if these scriptures are so. 
All right. John's 1 and 12, verse 12 to 13. It says, but as many as received him, to them gave me power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Verse 13, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Last one. John, James 1 and 12 says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with the meekness the engulfed word which is able to save your soul. Father God, we just thank you that as we close this time in Acts 2 and 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So we just thank God because in all this teaching and preaching, the bottom line is you receiving it. As many as receive it, to him, them gave you power to become sons and daughters of the Most High. There are so many scriptures concerning receiving. So, Father God, as we close, we pray for those who give their life over to Jesus Christ. In Acts 38 and 8, 35, Acts 2 and 38, it says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall what? Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Go back and listen to this take praise be to go to, to our youtube channel under shane gaskins hit the subscribe button again go to our youtube channel and and, and hit the subscribe button and share this information and if you've never given your heart over to jesus christ the bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of god the wages of sin is death 